Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. Let me introduce a new topic exponents and radicals in this video. First of all, we will take up exponents and laws of exponents in this video. Exponent is of the form a raised to power m where a is called the base and m is called the power. Now let us study about exponents in detail. What are exponents? When we have to repeatedly multiply a number by itself, we raise it to a power. This is known as exponent. For example, 4 cube is the exponent with the base 4 and power 3. The power in the exponent represents the number of times that we want to carry out the multiplication operation. For example, in exponent 4 cube, 3 is the power of 4. That is, we shall multiply 4 3 times. An exponent refers to the number of times a number is multiplied by itself or in other words we can say the base is multiplied by itself. For example, 4 raised to the power 3 is written in exponential form as 4 cube which means 4 into 4 into 4 is equal to 3 times of 4 that is 4 cube which is equal to 64. Thus, this expression of 4 into 4 into 4 can be written in a shorter way using exponents. Now, we can write these following multiplications also in the form of exponents. Like if we have to multiply 3 4 times, so we can write 3 raised to power 4. Similarly, if we have to multiply 4 5 times, we can write 4 raised to power 5. And if we have to multiply 5 6 times, we can just write 5 raised to power 6. Now let us study about laws of exponents. There are various laws of exponents like we have product laws, quotient laws, power of a power, power of a product, power of a quotient, negative exponent, identity exponent and zero exponent. Now let us study each one of them in detail. Let A and B be any two rational numbers and let M and N be integers then we have the following laws of exponent. The first law is related to products of powers which says a raised to power m into a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n. That means whenever the exponents are multiplied, we have to add their powers. For example, 5 raised to power 7 into 5 raised to power 3. So we can add the powers and we will write 5 raised to power 7 plus 3 which is equal to 5 raised to power 10. Now the second law of exponent is about quotient of powers which says a raised to power m upon a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m minus n where a is not equal to 0. That means whenever the two exponents are divided with each other, the powers are subtracted. For example, 5 raised to power 7 upon 5 raised to power 3 is equal to 5 raised to power 7 minus 3 which is equal to 5 raised to power 4. Now the third law of exponent is power of power. It says a raised to power m and whole raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m into n. That means we can multiply both the powers. Other way round also it is the same. We can say a raised to power n whole raised to power m is also equal to a raised to power m into n. And a is not equal to 0. Let me explain with the help of example now. Let us say 5 raised to power 7 and whole raised to power 3 is equal to 5 raised to power 7 into 3 which is equal to 5 raised to power 21. Now other way around also we can say 5 raised to power 3 and whole raised to power 7 is also equal to product of the powers that is 5 raised to power 3 into 7 which is also equal to 5 raised to power 21. So in both the cases, whether we take 7 inside or 3 inside and other way round, in both the case we have to multiply the powers. Now the fourth law of exponent is power of a product. It says a into b raised to power n is equal to a raised to power n and b raised to power n. For example, if we have 2 into 5 raised to power 3, we can write 2 raised to power 3 and 5 raised to power 3. That is 3 is distributed between 2 and 5. Now the fifth law of exponent is power of a quotient. 
it says a upon b raised to power n is equal to a raised to power n upon b raised to power n where b is not equal to 0. For example, if we have 2 upon 5 raised to power 3, we can say it is equal to 2 raised to power 3 upon 5 raised to power 3. Again, 3 is distributed between 2 and 5. Now, the sixth law of exponent is negative exponent. It says a raised to power minus n is equal to 1 upon a raised to power n. So, basically, the negative power has become positive by reciprocating the base. For example, if we have 5 raised to power minus 3, we can easily make it into a positive power by writing 1 upon 5 raised to power 3. Again, we can have a upon b raised to power minus n is equal to b upon a raised to power n. Again, it has turned positive by reciprocating the base. For example, if we have 2 by 5 raised to power minus 3, we can make it positive by reciprocal of 2 by 5, that is 5 by 2 raised to power 3. Now we come to the seventh law of exponent, that is identity exponent. According to it, a raised to power 1 is equal to a. For example, 5 raised to power 1 is equal to 5. Now the eighth law of exponent is zero exponent. According to it, a raised to power 0 is equal to 1. That means anything raised to power 0, whether it's a rational number or a fraction, it is equal to 1. For example, suppose we have 5 raised to power 7 upon 5 raised to power 7. And according to the second law of quotient of powers, we know that the powers have to be subtracted. So we can say 5 raised to power 7 minus 7 is equal to 5 raised to power 0, which is equal to 1. Or another way of looking at it is whenever we have the same numerator and denominator, we just cancel it out and we get 1. So this is it with the exponent and its laws. So hope you have understood. Thank you everyone.